The whole world's looking different. Did you ever think that you'd be in a squadron with a colored aviator? Lieutenant Tom Hudner. Jesse Brown. It's good to meet you. New movie, Devotion, hits theaters tomorrow. It's a story about a friendship in a time of war between a white Navy fighter pilot and the first black aviator in U.S. Navy history. Their sacrifices, making them the most celebrated wingmen in the Navy's history. And you might not know that the fighter pilot, Captain Thomas Hudner, was born in Fall River, went to Andover Academy, and lived in Concord. It's an amazing, true story. Both Jesse Brown and Captain Hudner, unfortunately, are no longer with us. But Hudner's son, Tom, is here to talk about the movie and all of this. Tom, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. I so, appreciate it. So quickly tell us the story between your dad and Jesse Brown in a nutshell. What happened with the what the movie is based on? Sure. So uh, they were both uh, naval aviators. They were serving uh, during the Korean War. They were uh, stationed off of an air aircraft carrier off the Korean Peninsula. And um, the particular mission that's portrayed in the movie, uh, they were flying support for the Marines on the ground at an area called the Chosen Reservoir, mm. which was a horrific campaign um, and so uh, during this particular mission uh, Jesse's plane was struck by ground fire and uh, he crashed and my father uh, made the decision to crash land his own plane to try to save Jesse. Um, it's just you know, it's, uh, memorialized in a movie so often this generation didn't talk a whole lot about what happened over there. What did your dad say about this during his life? How much did you know about this? I mean, I knew a fair amount. I mean, he, he wouldn't voluntarily talk about it, but if asked, he would, he would you know, share his, uh, his thoughts on it. Um, the book that the movie is based on called Devotion uh, by an author named Adam Makos, I mean, when that was released, when I first read it, I told the author that it really felt like it was a gift to me because there was so much detail in that book that mm -hmm. I didn't know about, that I wasn't aware of. Um, so he was, uh, again, not one to uh, sort of toot his own horn, but if, if asked to share uh, his experiences, he would. Um, we're looking at pictures of him getting the Medal of Honor. I see it right here. Can we see the Medal of Honor? You can uh, have sure. this right here. Sure. So he was given to this by President Truman? Wow. By, by President Truman, wow. and uh, I guess it's a little bit of an Easter egg uh, wow. that uh, they actually used the real Medal of Honor during the Medal of Honor scene in, in the movie. So the actor playing Truman uh, hangs this medal around uh, Glenn Powell, the actor playing my father, uh, mm. during that scene. So we, I, I got a chance to talk to Jesse Brown's granddaughter, uh, Jessica, about what this all has been like for her. Take a listen to what she says this has been like for her family and the lesson that uh, she hopes you take away from the movie. I think people, regardless of their backgrounds, will come to this film and recognize what it's like to be in a situation um, that that is difficult and, and hard. I think it is a little heartbreaking to think that there are, are still some parallels in, in sort of what's happening sort of broadly in this country when we think about some of the divisiveness um, overall um, and that there is more that, you know, we have in common that brings us together if we will allow it. We're, we're so excited and, and we're so proud and, and really grateful that the Jesse story is going to be what more widely known um, to a lot more folks uh, just beyond the, the little bubble that it's existed in so far. Now that's what it means to Jesse Brown's family. What are you hoping people get out of this movie, Tom? Well, I think, as Jessica alluded to, I mean, I think my father would truly be most pleased that more people would would know Jesse's story. Again, he was a, a hero and a, and a pioneer, and uh, obviously, Dad's story and Jesse's story have always been closely tied. But uh, but for so many people to understand what Jesse went through, what he experienced, and his selfless service and his selfless sacrifice, uh, I think that would be most gratifying for, for my father and certainly for our family. You've been on the whole tour this week and watching the movie and, and doing all of the press for that, but what do you think of the movie? Is it any good? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're gonna uh, like it. I, am, I am not a neutral observer, I would <laughs> admit, um, but I think it's phenomenal. I've seen it, I believe now, six times. I'll be seeing it <laughs> for the seventh time tomorrow night oh, uh, with friends and probably a few more times in the in the days to come. And uh, I, I think it's phenomenal. It was a lot to process the first time we watched it, a lot to absorb. And I think I've enjoyed it, you know, more and more each time. And I think it resonates. It should resonate for anyone uh, of any age, um, any vocation. Uh, I think the story and, and, and the themes resonate. And you're look closely. You work for Boston Med Flight. So you also sort of like your dad mm. help help 
helping people in, in an organization that saves lives every single day here. I mean, they do such good work at Boston Med Flight. You must be happy to be connected with them. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I work with, uh, I'm not cool enough to be a pilot or a flight nurse <laughs> or paramedic. Uh, but, uh, but the men and women who, who do that frontline work every day are, are truly heroes. Uh, we're a nonprofit organization, uh, again, caring for the sickest in, in the region. And so I'm certainly proud to align with them. And I feel, and Dad would uh, and was gratified by the work that we do. Tom, thanks for coming in. Devotion opens tomorrow.